What's up, internet? Kahit tapos na yung pandemic and yung GPU Armageddon, maraming pa rin nagtatanong if now is the best time to buy a graphics card. And there are two ways you can answer that. Number one, you can be sort of like this internet critic na... Saan yung fans? Ano klaseng PC shop to? The Verge Philippines! The Verge Philippines! Puro ka opinion, dami-dami mong sinasurf na Facebook group, brands, ano yung okay, ano yung hindi. And based on all of those opinions, you can tell your friend, pare, tanga ka. Ba't ka bumili ng graphics card? Overpriced pa ngayon. Overpriced. That's one way to do it. The second way to do it is the hardware sugar way. Not based on opinion, but based on facts. Ano ba talaga yung data? Ano ba talaga yung numbers? So for the past more than 3 months na, around 15 weeks, Every week, kinokolek namin yung GPU prices and yung CPU prices from the four largest PC retailers dito sa atin. So we've been gathering data for a long time. We summarize it, we analyze it, and then when we have a factual basis for giving an opinion, for giving a suggestion, dun palang namin sa sabihin kung okay na ba talaga bumili ng GPU ngayon. But if you're wondering, sa yung mga usual retailers na you're familiar with, Hardware Sugar is the only shop which gets free publicity on this channel. So tinago ko yung mga pangalan nila under aliases from science fiction. Kaya nandun si Wedge, nandun si Roy, etc. The names are fake, but the data is real. All of our data you can see for yourselves. Itong Google Sheet na ginagamit namin, public to. Yung link na sa description below. Nabanggit ko na rin sa ibang Price Watch episodes namin. So don't take our word for it. Nandiyan na yung actual numbers. You can go in. We've summarized them. We also have a few color-coded cells para madaling tingnan. Yung blue, okay yan. Meaning a price decrease. Yung red, not too good. Meaning may price increase. Tapos naka-chop-chop na rin yung data into weekly summaries. And you don't need to wait for a video from us. Kasi we only do this kind of episode once a month. But the Google Sheet, we update once a week. So if you're looking to buy a GPU or a CPU, you can check this sheet anytime. Available to online 24-7. Weekly namin to in-update. And then once a month, we come up with a price watch episode like this. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, let's get to the data. And we've been doing this since October 15. Fast forward 15 weeks. Pinaka latest natin is Feb 6. And we'll start out with AMD GPUs this time, usually Nvidia. But we've noticed na yung 7900XTX has been selling quite well. Nung when we started tracking it last week or two weeks ago, it was hard to find the store na may availability. And that tracks with yung international sales. Other outlets have been reporting na mabilis mabenta yung 7900XTX. Although this week, two out of our four stores do have it and at a reasonable price. Tirman mo yung average price ng 7900XTX. It's 71,000 pesos compared to yung 4090 na 111,000. Granted, yung performance naman ni 7900XTX isn't on par with the 4090. But even, let's say, for the 4080, Pretty good comparison if you're not looking at the RTX performance. The 4080 comes in at more than 10% more expensive at around 85,000. Heck, it's basically 20% more expensive than the 4080. So that's really what you get with the AMD GPUs. 
much better performance for the price if you're not looking for RTX performance. Going through the... Not much change with the other AMD cards. So we tracked the 6500 XT, but the 6700 XT, not too much of a change there. Moving on to NVIDIA cards. Roy has had significant price drops. So yung dati ni Roy last week was 9690 for the 1650. Nagbago siya ng model to Zotac and it went down yeah, several hundred. So not... You know, medyo malaki yun at that price level. Tumas actually in 3050 niya by a lot. From 15, 16,000 or so, naging 18,000. So, big jump. But the 3060 has gone down a little bit. The 4090 also a little bit more in line with the average price of the 4090. So, not much change. Actually, we had a lot of price drops nung January. Nag drop sila nung December and then nag hold steady yung price drop. Dina lit tinaas nung January. And that seems to be the new price now. On the average, Nvidia GPU prices have also not gone up. And basically, the last week of our data is pretty boring. You'll notice konti lang naka color code. So that means no changes in the prices for the Nvidia GPUs. So may konting taas to the. Uh, Mencho tomas konti si Joker with its 1350. And actually, I noticed an error. I'll correct it now. Same lang naman price ni Joker sa 3050 niya. So it's still 18,750. So we'll correct that now. So really a very pristine, <laughs> malinis na malinis tong sheet natin for the latest week na Feb 6. We do have the average prices here, but we'll go into that in a little bit. Because we do have a separate tab for that. Scrolling down to the CPU side, even more good news, lahat price drops. All of the price differences na we saw, bumagsak yung presyo rather than tumaas. That's true for the 5600X of Wedge, the 5600X of Roy, the 3600 of Roy, and then everything else the same. So again, a pretty boring week. Pero, boring in a good way na bumaba yung mga prices. Especially, we're still seeing a lot of good deals, a lot of good prices for the AMD 5000 series, which really does provide good value for money. Hindi siya yung latest, 7000 na yung AMD series. But the 5000 series still has a lot of performance left. Price to performance, maganda pa rin yung 5000 series. There was a big push by AMD late Christmas time to try to sell a lot of the 5000 stock para people can move on to the 7000. It still seems they have stock though, and the prices are still good. So just to review the past movement, you can really see in January 18, daming trending downwards. So all of Wedge's GPUs went down, including an AMD GPU. Si Roy medyo tumaas konte. To si Roy medyo unpredictable yung pricing patterns. But Joker also mostly down. Wash a little bit up for some of them, but down with the 4080. And then as I mentioned, you can really see price drops in the AMD series. So that was the pinaka high end. Even the 7000 series had some price drops around Christmas time or early New Year. The Intel CPUs dropped slightly, but they held basically steady. They have been pretty steady for the past couple of months. So this is Jan 18, the Jan 25. Not too much movement, Jan 25 with CPUs. With GPUs again, mention like slow down new movement. Not too much, if any movement at all, papaba. So the trend, especially for the 3,000 cards and below, papaba talaga siya. Big difference from the pandemic, GPU Armageddon time na ayo talaga, ayo talaga bumagsak ng mga presyo. Feb 1, the data point before our most recent data point, mostly shows blue. Especially on the CPU side where even the 7000 series is getting little price drops. And then we come to the latest data point where it's very clean. Yun nga, konti lang yung mga price differences. Roy, kind of like the outlier, didn't drop a lot. In fact, tumaas pa nga early this year, medyo bumabagsak na rin yung mga presyo. Shifting to our tab, the weekly summary, it's a lot easier to see here the trends of the prices. So for week 15, the latest week, yung average price ni 1650 is around 9,900. That's 
lower slightly than it was at the start of the year. At the start of the year, mga 10,170 siya. So, slight price dip for the 1650 over the span of this year so far. The 3050 hasn't really changed. You know, paikot ikot lang siya around the 7,000 peso mark. Same with the 3060. Back again to high 21,000 level. Although it did peak at around the end of January, closer to 24,000. So the average price now is much better. 3080, average price around 56,000. Pretty good value actually for a card that can give you that much performance. So a lot of people, a lot of our customers have been actually getting 3080s instead of going for the 40 series cards. You miss out on DLSS 3, which is the latest implementation of NVIDIA's upscaling technology. But a lot of games don't support DLSS 3 at this point. So it's more like proven performance. You're getting proven performance at a relatively decent price point. Di pa rin mura yung 56,000 pesos. But it's a much better price than what we've seen in the past. Especially for a high-end card like the 3080. Jumping to the 4080, this price has not moved since the second week of January. So if you're looking to buy, maybe it will go down. We do expect the 40 series cards to maybe drop a little bit, considering that more of the line is coming out this year with the 4060s, the 4070 Ti just came out. So usually that's some price pressure on the higher price cards to drop slightly. And the 4090, same thing, has not really moved uh, since the start of the year. AMD GPUs, we do have data now for the XTX, as I mentioned, around 71,000 pesos. Much cheaper than either the 4090 or the 4080. And there are still good deals to be had for the 6,000 series cards, damning discounts for those cards. You're not really seeing them in the prices of the retailers that we're tracking, but if you can get a sh but if you can find a store that will get them brand new from the dealers, because the dealers are trying to sell out their stocks on daming mga promos, daming discounts. Like Dito's Hardware Sugar, we can custom order a 6000 series GPU for you. And that's become a popular option for our customers as well. Because it's a lot of pressure. And, you know, yun nga, the performance, the lower the price, the more attractive a card. It's a better price to performance ratio. Niya. So you definitely might want to consider that as well. You can PM us kung magkano ba yung latest prices nung 6,000 series cards because the price drops aren't really being shown by the big retailers. Feeling ko kasi may inventory pa sila. Nabili nila dati, mas mahal. Ayaw nila bitawan at a lower price. So they still keep the prices high. But for us, small shop, we don't have any inventory. Pupunta lang kami sa distributor ngayon, mas na yung presyo. So we can get it at a lower cost na hindi rin kami malulugi. For AMD CPUs, the... 7950X is at its lowest point ever that we've seen at around 36,000 pesos. 7600X hasn't changed from last week, so it's around 17,000 pesos. 5600X at a good price that hasn't really changed. Again, hasn't changed. Same with the 5600G and the R53600. Interesting price conundrum here between the 5600G and the 3600. 5600G, kind of entry level for the 5000 series. It does come with integrated graphics. The R5 3600, more performance oriented, but a 3000 series. So, which CPU do you go for, even if you're thinking of putting a GPU? Always, it's tricky to answer that. Na major performance from the previous gen with an entry level, na very decent from the current gen. I know 5000 series is not current for AMD, but I still think of the 5000 as still very good, still very viable for 2023. And right now, the prices are basically the same. Um, so I, I don't know <laughs> which way I would go. Leaning slightly actually towards personal opinion, the R53600, just because you know I don't need the integrated graphics. I would pair it with the GPU. But yeah, it's really neck and neck, very hard to compare. For Intel CPU, it's not much of a drop talaga. I mean, it's amazing. Tirma tong 3900K. Since the week that we had data, that's week 2, that's around late October, around 38,000 pesos siya. Jump to our latest data point, 
15 weeks or so, 14 weeks or so later, and it's still at that price point. Not much variance talaga sa mga Intel CPUs. 13600K is the same. The first data point we had was around 21,000, and it's still around 21,000 now. Yung 14 months or so later. Sorry, 14 weeks or so later. And the 12500 is actually has gone up. <laughs> the average price when we first started tracking it was around 14,200. Now it's around 14,800. So interesting there that it's the AMD CPUs that are actually dropping with the 13th gen Intel holding their own. In, despite the fact na kung if you've listened to our podcast from last week, you know that Intel is in serious financial trouble and they're cutting costs left and right. They still made a profit last year, but their profitability is in serious question. Yung nga, dami nilang kina cost cut because the company as a whole is worried na their profits have gone way down. And yet, that sense of urgency, yung pagsak ng presyo, hindi pa nakikita sa local market natin. So here we are, a month and a half into 2023, mid-February. Prices are looking good, especially if you're interested in AMD CPUs or even NVIDIA GPUs. I mean, a 3080 at uh, around low 50s is not cheap, but not bad for the performance that you're getting. I hope nakatulong tong episode na to to help you decide whether now is the time to pull the trigger. And remember that this Google Sheet is available all the time, 24-7. We only do this episode once a month, summarizing the data. But the data itself is available, yung link na sa video description below. It's available anytime that you want to check. Kung bibili ka ng GPU, ng CPU, kahit hindi galing sa amin, galing sa ibang store, feel free to bookmark this link and just check it periodically from time to time. Kasi every week talaga namin in update. Medyo hassle to update, to be honest. I still do everything manually. But we make it a point talaga na at least once a week in update so that we can keep collecting data and we can see the price trends moving forward. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.